<laughs> oh, Whew. Liliana, did uh, Terrence let you in? Terrence said I had to make an appointment to see you. He's dead now. Liliana, that's the third office administrator you've killed this semester. But now I have an appointment with you. You could also just call and schedule one or email. Email is great. But email is so boring. But now Terrence is dead. Undead, technically. You turned him into a zombie. I just like to think I helped him become the zombie he was meant to be. Well, okay, why don't we take this opportunity to go over a few issues with your storyline. Well, there's murder, a strange raven man, more murder, a dead brother, murder, necromancy, murder, demons, murder, eternal youth, murder, deeds so heinous they can only be hinted at and never explicitly talked about, and murder. What else could a demonically youthful girl want? Well, maybe an obstacle that can't be solved by, you know, murder and necromancy. Some of my problems can be solved by demonic intervention. Yes, but then you kill the demons. Two down. And besides the point, demonic intervention is just another way of solving your problems using dark magic instead of actual story arcs. I don't know what you're talking about. I can solve problems without using dark magic. Exactly. You can, but you don't. Black can have a great complexity to it. You, as a character, can grow and evolve while still being mono-black. But an arc means a change. You gotta change it up. Okay, let's try a creativity exercise here. Mm. All right, I'll tell you a problem and you give me the solution. Struggle for new ideas, new ways of dealing with things. Sure. There's someone you like, but they don't like you back. Murder them. You have left your pencil at home and you need to borrow one from a classmate. Zombify him. The zombie will just give me the pencil. I... Because he's a zombie. Your life feels meaningless because you have no family and no friends. Your soul aches for friendship. Sell my soul to a demon for more power, then do it four more times. I walked into that one. Then kill all the demons. I don't like the idea of being in debt to anyone. A giant super volcano is going to explode and destroy the entire plane? I planes walk away. The super volcano was a metaphor for the Eldrazi. Oh. In that case, I never show up in the first place. See, this is what I'm talking about. I think you're really limiting yourself. You are obviously incredibly powerful and incredibly intelligent, but you're just relying on the same methodology. Well, eventually this is all going to catch up with you. You're going to have to grow and change sooner or later. What do you mean, catch up with me? You can't just kill people and have it go unnoticed. Terrence wasn't the first. You're suspected in killing Professor Zimmerman. Hey, you can't prove her last act wasn't giving me an A in my ethics class. Miss Hubbard, the student housing coordinator? I do better without roommates. And about half a dozen of your fellow students have all gone missing. I really do keep forgetting to bring a pencil. Well, there's an investigation. They're gathering testimony from all your instructors. You're about to be found out. What can I do to make this all just go away? I'm an immortal planeswalker with demigod-like powers. Your community college professor. If you could maybe get me off the hook, I'd be in your debt all of my powers at your disposal forever. There is absolutely no downside to such an arrangement. Yes, yes, I, I can blame someone else, and then? And then I'll be in your debt. This is the greatest decision that I have ever made.